Hey, Pastor Graham here. Just wanted to share, we had an awesome time uh, with our men's group yesterday at our church, and we were talking about how we can control our anger, our aggression, and our tendency to engage in violence. 96% of the victims of violent crimes are women. South Carolina ranked number 11 in the nation with the amount of violence done in a relationship. It's the first time in 23 years we've been out of the top 10. 90% of individuals who are incarcerated are men. Now, it's not to say that women don't get angry, they don't show aggression, they don't display violence, but clearly we show it differently. And so as men, you know, we're not trying to be weak, we're not trying to be soft, but we do need to be meek. We need to be a gentleman. We have to be restrained. We have to show humility. We have to display emotional intelligence. At the end of the day, we have to be the change we want to see. Because there are other men looking at us, there are other women looking at us. There is someone who is watching our actions and determining whether this is the correct way to behave themselves. And so more than ever before, with, with so much violence happening with young people, uh, literally uh, we are outliving and we're burying too many young people due to violence. Um, just this week in West Assey, my father told me about a young lady who passed away. She died due to gun violence. She was getting in between two men who were arguing. So we, 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 we got to do better. We, we, we have to do things differently. And it starts with us. Change happens one person at a time. It starts with looking at that man in the mirror. So let's be the change we want to see. Keep our young men, young people covered in prayer. Most importantly, be an example. God bless.